last season on Jeremiah Green, born into the game. So basketball is just something that he's just, he just been born into. And because of that, he's able to play at a high level. And um, he has a good feel for the game. It's been amazing to watch him grow ever since he was little. And I can see that he's really passionate about it. He eats, sleeps, breathes basketball. Uh, just a whole experience overall. It's, it's been great. In New Orleans, I was playing against everybody. Um, it, was, it was like a different feel. It felt like NBA training camp. The, the greatest thing about Jeremiah is watching his growth uh, over the years. Uh, so I'd say hardworking. Uh, and, and Manly wants to be great and wants to make others around him great. So, so uh, with Jeremiah, I would say that he's a pro-style point guard. So he's done a really good job of playing the right way, being tough, being a two-way player. Uh Well, Tony, the countdown is on for some of the best high school basketball talent in the country to return right here to the Midlands. Next week, several teams and nationally ranked players will compete in the elite high school hoops tournament, the Bash. Ten programs from across the state will participate in this tournament, some even calling it the Super Bowl of high school basketball. decision to switch from Denton Geyer to Sunrise Christian. Mm. Um, how has that experience been so far? Um, it's been good overall, just like for me as a person, just learning more about basketball and then like off the court, like with school and how to manage my time and all of that. So <clears throat> it's been a really good experience for me, like going through the ups and downs and all of this. So. Oh, this was a home run like, because our expectations, we knew exactly what we was getting into. We understood the platform was going to be there. We also understood that it was going to be a process. You're going to have highs and lows that comes with the progression, the maturation. You got to go through that. Um, the on court was great. Off the court, it's been amazing. You know, Christian school, um, biblical views, uh, values, which is important for us in our household. Uh, so he's been able to get the, the platform, the exposure, uh, the coaches, uh, very, very knowledgeable. And then we get the Christian um, application. So it's been a win-win for us. You know, it wasn't just basketball going into, going into it. We understood we needed the full body of work. We needed the off the court and on the court for us. So it's been a win for him. It was really tough. That's my baby boy. That's my heart. That's my firstborn. So sending him off was really tough in the beginning. I did a lot of praying. I did a lot of fasting. And I just asked God, I said, God, if this is where he's supposed to be, let me know by me being at peace. So once we had visited Sunrise, we saw the environment, we saw the setting. We loved that it was a Christian setting and surrounded by men of God, women of God that would continue to pour into him. Because us as a family, that's what we were biblically rooted. So 
someone else outside of us pouring into him was key to us. So that was a number one hit for me. And then basketball wise, it was a great fit for him. And I knew that where he wanted to go, this was the next step. I would say it was um, maybe like kind of easy. Um, it was just weird because like me and my sister's room is like on one side of the house and then his is like on the opposite. So like that side of the house was like very empty in the beginning. So it was like hard to like adjust knowing that he wasn't there anymore. Um, it was kind of hard at first, but he, I got like used to it. It was like kind of hard at the beginning. And it was like, it was hard for him to leave for me. Um, it was it was tough at the beginning, but like the further down I got to the season, like it's not really that big of a deal for me anymore. So I mean, at the beginning it was really hard, but now it's like really easy. So, <laughs> but I definitely miss him. So Jeremiah Green is coming off a terrific performance yesterday against La Lumiere, a double double, 19 points and 11 assists. Early on in the season, you guys had uh, kind of a bit of a rocky start. Uh, what what did it take for you guys to kind of get on the same page as a team, collectively? Um, it took a lot of, like, leadership from, like, all of us just to try to bond together because, like, we came very early together in the year. We didn't really know each other. So, I mean, going through the hard stuff was, like, I'd say it was good for us, but... For us to overcome that, we, I mean, we just had to stick together and unite as one team and just, like, put ourselves away and just focus on, like, what's best for the team. Arm slip check. Me between the rim, and I'm shadow. I'm just going to shadow. Wow. We can't get over here like this. Uh, yeah. like, too early, but you were way far this way. It's got to be straight back. It's got to be straight back because the pops are going to come. You know what I'm saying? Both of you guys have stretched out. You got stretched out way over here. I'm staying right here in this lane. I'm keeping it in front of me. If he's in real trouble and I have to take it, great. But otherwise, I'm playing it. Walk two. Right? So last time I spoke with you one-on-one, -on -one, um, he was ranked, what, 54 in the state? Texas, yeah, he was, like he, yeah, he was out of the top 50. Now he is ranked number one in the state of Texas. Yeah. Number nine in the point guard section. Yeah. Um, in the nation. Yeah. So I know we don't pay attention to rankings, but do you think this move has something to do with that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's uh, again, you get around the best of the best. They get to evaluate you um, against the best of the best. And for him, as far as evaluation, he's been able to play the shooting guard and the point guard. So some see him as a combo. But for us, it's always been Okay, we could teach you how to play off the ball, but our main priority was to teach them how to play on the ball, right? Facilitate, get others involved. We know you can score. We know you can create off the dribble, but can you set the table for other people? So I think with this, I believe with this platform, it has shown his skill set from a point guard standpoint. Um, everybody knows that he can score, but can he lead a team? Can he facilitate? Can he get others involved? And uh, this uh, platform has provided that. And that's why I believe, you know, the rankings, this is where you start to see the change in the rankings. And for us, it's the long game. It's going to continue to uh, progress. Um, and he's going to continue to get better. And our goal, we want to be the number one point guard in the country. Jeremiah Green with the basketball and an early news. <laughs> Wasting no time, two seconds in. Jeremiah Green, quick to the hoop in the left fast. hand. Yeah, boy, he's got seven. Wait till the jump shot gets polished. Green, spot up J. You said wait till he gets that jump shot going. It's looking pretty good tonight, Paul. For me. Um, as of today, you're the number one player in the state of Texas. Um, it's definitely like an honor and appreciation for like the work I put in, but. I mean, I'm not really, like, tied into it too much because, like, at the end of the day, like, it's just, like, temporary. And that's just, like, like a, it's just, like, a number. So, like, for me personally, I'm, like, looking past that, just trying to, like, develop my game as, like, as much as possible and become the best I could possibly be. I feel like it's exciting because I have someone to look up to because, like, you know, I want to do what he does at a higher level eventually. So it's something good to look up to.
it's really exciting to watch him get better each time like he plays basketball he like he gets better every day it's really exciting um it was tough because like i really want to be on the court and i was like my actual like first injury i ever had but i just had to stay patient with it and just trust the time and trust that god has like some good for me and now like today is gonna be the first time i play in like a month so i'm like i'm really excited to get back on the court so